From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday, Stump Stories. As health officials continue to monitor the coronavirus numbers and carry out vaccination around the country, House Speaker Moultrie is in the headlines again, and this time it's over a corona-related matter. The Speaker abruptly adjourned yesterday's session. He says over the response he got after it was confirmed that the chief clerk in the House tested positive for the virus, the Speaker says he reached out to both Prime Minister Minnis and the leader of government business, Health Minister Wells, on how to proceed with yesterday's meeting. But he got a little response, and he's upset. Find ourselves today meeting in a parliament that can be contaminated as a consequence of the quote, quote, coronavirus. In a parliament that has not been sanitized since we discovered that the clerk of this parliament has been affected. The Speaker using a rule to adjourn the House to May 3rd. He's accused the government of disrespecting Parliament. There's been no statement from the Prime Minister or the Minister of Health to this point. The PLP says it's blaming the Prime Minister for that situation and the overall response to the coronavirus in the country. And a statement from the PLP says he should face condemnation for it. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Those corona numbers continue to come. 66 additional cases were reported for Tuesday, spread over three islands, 53 in the capital, five in Long Island, three in Grand Bahama, five with locations pending. The hospital numbers still on the high side. 50 persons are in, four in the ICU. No other deaths reported as yet. The Department of Immigration's Hawkins Hill office hit by a positive coronavirus test. It's been closed for cleaning. It will reopen on May 3rd. The government has announced that its unemployment support program will now extend to the end of June. A ruling expected tomorrow in the Supreme Court on the government's Shanty Town initiative. It's currently on hold due to a court-imposed injunction. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a surface of insurance management, no systems in the area, mostly sunny, warmer, highs in the mid-80s, 83 at Freeport, 86 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, wind settling at 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Next time is a high around 11 this morning, next low about 5 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines, U.S. President Biden making his first speech to Congress, telling them that the country is on the way back to being normal again. The president touting the coronavirus vaccination effort and his stimulus package, among other things. The coronavirus spread continues in India. Another day with more than 3,000 persons dead in that country and more than 300,000 infections. The health system there is about to collapse. Other countries are sending help to India, including the U.S., which is sending $100 million worth of aid. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Thursday, Shell 486, SO488, $4.93 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes, brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. That hamstring injury has landed Jazz Chisholm on the injured list in Major League Baseball. He'll be out for at least 10 days. Read about it in the Tribune Sports and get the rest of the Major League Baseball news. A championship with John Quill Jones in Europe. Read about that as she prepares to head back to the WNBA. Both Buddy Heel and DeAndre Aiden in action last night in the NBA. The Suns won. The Kings lost. Read about that and get the rest of the NBA news. There's an update on the Olympics preparation in the Tribune Sports. And 
ready for the NFL draft. The first round is tonight in Cleveland. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.